no questioning. I, I'd do it again in a heartbeat. You're hearing from a man who pulled over to help after an ambulance crashed in Kansas City. You may remember the crash happened Sunday near 71 Highway and Bannister Road. A patient being transported, 61-year-old Raymond Miller, died at the scene. And with police still investigating this cause, our investigator Cameron Taylor learning what a witness saw. It was windy. I mean, it was windy. Adam Miller will never forget seeing this ambulance crash. He was on his way back to Iowa. What was crossing your mind when you saw that happened? Wow, I mean, I wasn't sure. I was like, well, I, I remember telling my fiance she was in the backseat of the baby, and I said, this, this is going to be bad. As a former reserve deputy, he knows how to respond to emergencies. So he pulled over and told his fiance to call 911. Adam says he immediately went looking for anyone hurt. If, if that was my kids in there or my family or friend, anybody, would you not want him to stop? In this picture, you see Adam in the middle of the aftermath. He tells me the patient on board the ambulance was still alive when he got there, but did not make it. I had reached under and closed his eyes and, and covered him up. It had to be tough. It, it, it is. Kansas City police are investigating how this crash happened. They say the driver of the ambulance lost control. Then the vehicle went off the road overturning twice. We've never had such a, uh, just a catastrophic type accident. Shane Lockard spoke with me earlier this week. He's the EMS chief for the Johnson County, Missouri Ambulance District. He says the ambulance was on its way to Research Medical Center from Warrensburg. Lockard tells me the patient needed specialty care for a gastrointestinal issue. It was an urgent transport. The patient needed to go right away, but it wasn't a lights and sirens response. It wasn't time critical. It is not key to get the is one of us that is heavily damaged. Both crew members on board were taken to the hospital. They're now recovering at home. As a former first responder, Adam is still concerned about the 21-year-old ambulance driver. My heart, I'm, I'm worried about her because that changed it. That changed her life. And for Raymond Miller's family who lost their loved one, Adam wants them to know this. He was not alone. He wasn't alone when he when he went. Uh, and my heart just goes out to him. I just hope they don't have hate or ill will toward this girl. Or oh, that's that's my biggest hope. For the KSHB 41i team, I'm Cameron Taylor. The EMS chief tells us police are looking at whether wind was a factor in that crash. She says the MT behind the wheel was going below the speed limit. The EMS chief also says the driver will remain on paid administrative leave during the entire investigation, which is standard procedure.